Hi everyone, this is Lauren coming at you from the break zone with another box opening video. So, as a quick reminder, we're still currently running the giveaway. So, when we reach 400 subs to this channel, we'll be giving away uh, these sleeves to a random person from our subscribers you'll be reached out to. Official Square Enix product. 60. Uh, uh, there we go. Can, can you see it? Right. Oh, kind of hard to get it. There we go. Well, kind of. 60 sleeves, guys. It's 60 sleeves. Trust me on that. If not, then you know what? I'll figure something out if it's not. But it is. You just got to trust me on that. So you're here for the box opening. We're going to do a box opening. Opus 5 just came out last week. And oh, I'm going to get tired of this. Still hunting for that double legendary pack. So far, what? We had three boxes. This is the fourth box. Yeah. Oh, put that right here so you can all see. It's all the packs. Pack one. Is it also going to be first pack, best pack? We'll see. I'm not shuffling these. Oh. Come on. There we go. Nice open. I can nicely slide these out. Bam. Larsa. Starter. Not bad. Three cards worth in one. And Lightning. All right. Next pack. I don't know. Larsa, the fact that it's six drop. So it's an even number. That's always nice. Like if you get first, first turn, Larsa in your hand, you can play it. You can. Plus other cards you don't really need right now, but make sure the thing with too many too much card draw is that you might run out of cards eventually. Foil, semi lafina. Nice art. Yang. Yang's a good card. I like it. But sometimes I worry about these guys. Uh, well, he doesn't have brave, unless you control five or more Earth characters, which is actually not that hard. And then after that, like ten k brave. Yeah. That works for me. And if you have Anna Pro, 11k Brave. And if you have Ingus, 12k Brave. Full Chocobo Knight. I know some people really like the Chocobos. And come on, Legendary, Legendary. Well, it is a Legendary. You know, there you go. Called it. Phoenix. Boom. First Legendary of this box. Phoenix rises again. You know what's cool about Phoenix? Forward three or less in the break zone. That's a warrior of light. That could be a warrior of light. Could be a lot of other things, but you know what? Warrior of light's not a bad choice. Or heretic knight. And Ozma. Ozma's a great card. I want to see more people use it though. Because I don't know. Just thinking about it, I'm already hating the fact like if I have to face down somebody with the Ozma. I'm not gonna be a happy person. I swear. Like that's the chance that they, the opportunity that they might uh, take out all my characters. That's not awesome. Foil Warrior and Elden Ark. Nice. Always happy to see that. This this box. I'm hoping for more. Let's see. Can never say no to Earth Warrior of Light. Oh, Earth Wall. And what else do I need? I need to get a lot of Diablos. Ishtola is also one of the cards I really like in this set. So hoping for more of those. But a foil miner could be a thing. Personally, I think it's a really good card. Helps you early game. Helps you late game too. And oh, dark card. Always always good. The dark cards in this set are just so good. I mean, you know, you open your pack, you see a little bit of a the dark corner on the side. I mean, just look at that. Like, you know what? Yeah. Look at that, you see like on the corner, you see like, oh, okay, I see just like a little bit of a dark card. You're like, yeah, I'm going to have a good pack. All right, let's take a look. Slowly, slowly, there we go. And Foil Gabron. Judge. I'm good. 
I'm good with Water of Light. <sighs> Mini Kapal every turn. Got all the other abilities. Can't wait to play with uh, with him in my deck. Let's see. I mean, Earth has got so such a boost in this set. That's just. I'm a big Earth player. I'm a big Earth fan. I keep it down to Earth. <laughs> Lunith, Warrior of Light. There we go. To go with the Phoenix. Not bad, huh? On top of the fact that you get to deal 8,000 power uh, damage to a uh, sword, the Phoenix. Do it on their turn during your second main phase. Bring out your Lunith back. Boost all your forwards. Or do that during their attack phase. So that you could get to boost all your guys. All your fire guys. That wouldn't be too bad. Four Rosa. Man, that is awesome art though. And a foil. Ooh. Let's see what else I got. Barnabas. Yeah, not so good. The Rosa was the highlight of that one. For sure. Three legendaries so far, huh? Not bad. Still on the first stack. Still on the left left end of the box. Don't worry, I'm just rough with the packs. With the pack packaging. Not rough with the cards. Foil Lunith. That's good. Let's see. And Twilight Odin. Not bad. Not bad. I mean it would be like a double legendary pack or anything like that, but you know what? A foil warrior of light. Not bad. Ugh. These packs are just too sturdy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. keep it that way, okay? No, that's not a complaint. You know, that's that's just kind of like a first world problem. Oh no, these packs are just too awesome. Alright. Foil Vermillion Burn the Sea. And Foil of like Cabrina. Not my favorite. Last pack of this stack. Oh, I'm surprised I don't have that many Warrior of Lights, but Earth Wall, good enough for me. Oh, man, come on. Oh, I'm just running out of strength. So many packs. First world problem. Oh, gosh. Don't make me use scissors. I have scissors next to me. I don't want to use scissors to open a pack. Oh, this is tough. Alright, this one I'm going to pull from the top this time. There we go. Whoop, almost dropped it. But... <sighs> Foil Zemus. No, Purple Shark. Rawr! And Ilua. Wow. That was a lightning, uh, lightning pack, huh? All right, let's put that up as a nice little stack. Four legendaries so far. First stack. If I extrapolate that into three stacks, means I'm gonna get eight legendaries in this in this box. That'd be awesome. All right, let's see. Cockatrice foil. Yeah, that's a good card. The fact that you save your and oh. That was the Earth Pack. That's not bad. I'll push you on top. There you go. You and you keep writing that chocobo ringus. You do you. So much good art. I love these cards. I love this game. I love these cards. I love the art. I love the stock. I love the foils. And I love you guys out there. Watching this video, enjoying this with me, having a good time. You know what? Like, even the community is so awesome, you know? I mean, we started this, what? We had maybe eight players at our locals, and then eight became like 12. Now we've got a regular 12 to 18 going on Friday night constructed. It's awesome. Foil Snow, because I still never shiny enough. And Forum. Well, that's legendary. At least it's not Palum. Whenever you open a pack, it's legendary, and it's not the one you want. Keep in mind, as long as it's not Palum, 
You're still good. <laughs> All right, let's see. Foil Fran, the foil starter. I'll put in a special foil starter. And Edward. Yeah, Edward, I need to forget about you. I mean, the art's cool. Amano art is awesome. But Edward, uh, why don't you go to the corner and just keep playing your harp or whatever. Paul Chocobo. As some people, as, as some people would say, from Final Fantasy Tactics, the first trickable you get is Boko. It definitely looks like Boko, but no, it's just a full trickable. And Adele, she'll she'll sing to you, all the way down to seven damage. She is awesome. Oh, oh my! Back on the arm. All right, let's see. Bam, Schrodinger's pop cat. You could have multiple of them in field at the same time, by the way. You see that? Right here, multiple. That's awesome. Oh, I was born to put in the heroic pile. That's how good it is. But Star Sybil, definitely in the heroic pile. Loving this. Huh, halfway in this pile. What, I got Porum so far as a legendary? I'm expecting what? Two more legendaries from these packs, from just this stack alone. A lot to ask for from what? I got five more sealed packs in this stack. I got one in my hand. Come on, legendary. Well, that's not legendary. But there we go. See, called it. Pack looks not so bad, huh? Some people's got it. Everybody's got it. You know what? Opening packs in this game. Final Fantasy, like, it's just a lot of good stuff. I mean, I've opened packs for other games, and sometimes you get some things that you're just looking at it, it's like, oh man, that's horrible, you buy a couple more packs, and you're like, ah, oh, whatever, you know, that was pretty bad. But opening Final Fantasy packs, like, I've never been that disappointed, personally. Royal Rightness, I mean, obviously not every pack's a winner, but there's just so many good cards. The meta is so balanced. You and if you want to, you can. Oh man, man, this is one of those packs. Okay, okay, let's go the long way. But the fact that there's no completely tier zero or whatever you want to call it super deck that just crushes everything else. There's always a counter. You know, I I never felt like the the meta was stale in any of the the expansions from I've been playing since what Opus two because Opus one was just really hard to get. But I've been playing Sobus 2, and I mean, the cyclical, the cyclical nature of the meta always kept me interested, you know? And for whatever became kind of like the big bad, whichever one was the best deck around for a while, like, there was always somebody coming up next, the following week, with something to take it on. That's always been awesome. That's one of the, my favorite aspects of this game, is that, you know what? The decks... The colors, maybe not the colors, but at least um, the meta doesn't completely get stale. I mean, people people did talk about, oh, I think it was what, Opus 4 being a, a little bit tough. Because, I mean, first of all, like, yeah, there weren't that many events for it at that point. But, you know, some communities made their own. We've got, what, Meta Potion. Um, we had the ARG Circus, the Petite Cups. And locally, at least for us, we had the Breakthrough Circuit. And that was really fun. If you haven't checked it out, we have the stream from the championship that just happened, uh, what, yesterday? Wow. Time moves so quickly. Rosa. All right. Oh, man. I don't know why. These packs are feeling really... Oh, there we go. Whew. A couple of the other packs were just really hard to open. You know, you got to be careful. Don't, don't force it. Don't bend your cards. Don't make the corners. I mean... You know, everybody wants pristine condition. We're talking about mid, near mid, straight, packed to sleeve. You know, bam. Yep, I know who wants this card. All right, Okimoto, come and get it. And Ark. Yep, loving the whole Warrior of Light theme. Let's see. Oh, hey, 
Toro and Ramza from this this pack. It's not bad. Do I expect a legendary? I think it's been a couple packs that I opened the legendary. I'm overdue for one now. What do you guys think? Legendary pack? Arcanus, not legendary. Lugate, definitely not legendary. So, you know, feels bad pack. It happens every once in a while, you know, but not that often. I mean, look at what I've opened so far. It's it's pretty good stuff, man. Talking about Alpnark, Earth Warrior of Light, Zemus, Foil Zemus, that is. Not complaining. Bam. Foil Grenade. That's a thing. Is that, is that a dark card? No, that's not a dark card, but that's Odin. All right. Oh, this stack. This stack needs to give me... Oh, we're, we're overdue for a bunch of legendaries, so we're definitely going to find a few. I definitely trust trust Square Enix and Final Fantasy to get me a bunch of legendaries in this stack. That's a foil heroic, not legendary. But that is Bismarck. Okay, not legendary either. But okay, okay. Come on, double legendary pack. Still waiting for you. I mean, at this rate, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six legendaries. I'm overdue, guys. This is exciting though. <sighs> foil Forum. Well, it's a foil legendary. And is it legendary? Nope. Heroic Death Gaze. Errata Death Gaze. I mean, otherwise, even if it was just a regular ability to just break characters of cost 5 or 10 open controls, like, I guess it could be a hard counter if it were not errata, but it is. And I'm just kind of glad they didn't write, like, 5, 10, 15, because I have no clue how I'd be able to summon a 15 cost creature uh, forward. Foil's Collar. And Wall. Wall's not bad. Helps you get all the other Warrior of Light. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Need more legendaries, guys. Let's go find some. This one being Foil Arcanist and Huh. Tancred. Okay. Keep going. That's not a legendary. I gotta keep going. Alright. Oh my goodness. These packs are just so well made. Whew. Look at that. Such good quality cards. For Graviton, in case you want to get funny with your carbuncles, and Aladai. Not legendary, huh? No, you can't tell me that this box is going to have less than 9 legendaries. I don't believe you. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. All the boxes I've ever opened were always, at the very minimum, 9 legendaries. Foil Echo. And Aria. Huh. Am I getting a little worried? I got five packs. Five packs, and I'm off by what? One, two, three, five, six, seven. I'm off by two legendaries, guys. Hoping for that double legendary pack. Well, I mean, I guess that's how it works, right? If, if they're both in one pack, that means you're not going to get them in other ways. Like one, pa one in one pack and one in another pack. Foil Odin. And, no, that's not. There we go. Diablos is a legendary. There we go. Four more packs, but I do expect at least one more legendary. I'm going to guess you guys stuck around this whole time. Otherwise, you, know, you wouldn't get to see me open up all this good stuff. I mean, Earth Warrior of Light, Earth Wall, Foil Zemus. What else would I want? Foil Star Sybil. Really excited to see this card. Well, excited to use the card, but not excited to see it on the other side of the field. Carbuncle. Come on. Double legendary pack. Double legendary pack. I got three packs, including this one left. Doing the countdown. There we go. You guys don't even want to see the stack of 
stuff I got on the side from all the packs I opened from the foil ninja to the Glacia La Bolas Doom Train. Two packs left. Overdue one legendary or perhaps two. Foil Fighter. Uh oh. Tella. Uh oh. I'm worried. Unless last pack, best pack. What do you guys think? Let's take a look. <sighs> this is going to be tough. Fury Ranger. Yep, what did I tell you? It had to be a legendary. Orphan. Not angry about that at all. Orphan's a good card. Take a look at the spoils. I've got Phoenix, Alpnark, Wall, Foil Zemus, Porum, Foil Porum, Ramza, Yablos, and Orphan. I think it's not bad. I mean, you know, Foil Zemus, Wall, good. Ramza, Yablos, Orphan, good. Alpnark, good. Porum, so so. I mean, I think Porum's still going to have some uses, especially. If uh, the Chocoba decks are still around, that's at least a blocker or something like that and go deep. But, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But for the most part, like, at least these these six, yeah. Good stuff. All right. Thanks for sticking around for this video. Uh, hit the subscribe button to get a chance to win these awesome lightning sleeves. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. So, all right. Thank you, and we'll catch you next time.